According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 1 in 10 American adults have diabetes. The CDC estimates that as trends continue, that figure is expected to double or even triple by 2050. Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to a myriad of serious complications. It can cause damage to small and large blood vessels and organs. This can often lead to heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, nerve damage, and eye disease, among other often serious complications. Our best friend, the dog, has always maintained a special intuition into the needs of his people. With some recent studies suggesting that the dog played a key role in modern humans becoming the sole human species, beating out other hominids such as Neanderthals. This virtuous circle of cooperation saw humans and their canine friends get stronger together over time, a topic we look forward to covering in a future video. The days of requiring our friends to help us hunt are long gone, but he still retains his close bond with us, a bond that when properly harnessed can help us battle a crippling disease. Let's find out how these diabetic service dogs, often called diabetic alert dogs, are assisting as we fight a growing foe. Hi, I'm Leroy. And this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Let us know about your doggy in the comments below. We'll get to the top breeds used as diabetic service dogs in a bit. But first, let's see how these dogs help their handlers fight an invisible enemy. As a culture, the term diabetes is a familiar one. Most of us know at least one person suffering from diabetes. But what is it? Diabetes mellitus is a group of diseases that involve high blood sugar or glucose levels. Every cell in your body needs energy to function. When you eat, your body breaks down foods that have carbohydrates into glucose. While this happens, your pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin acts as a key. It allows the glucose to go from the blood into the cells. It also helps you store energy. Insulin is a vital part of metabolism. Without it, your body isn't able to function and perform properly. Managing diabetes requires keeping close track of blood glucose levels. Treatment may include taking insulin or other medications to help your body reduce the high glucose levels. Our canine friend steps in with one of his keenest senses, his sense of smell. According to Diabetic Alert Dogs of America, our bodies are a unique makeup of organic chemicals, all of which have very specific smells. Low and high blood sugar levels, or hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, release chemicals in the body that have a distinct odor that is undetectable by humans. Our training process positively motivates these dogs to alert when these odors are detected. But you're asking yourself, don't we have blood sugar strips and tests? Why, yes, we do, but these methods require you to manually test yourself on a schedule, which may miss sudden spikes or drops in blood glucose, either of which may be life-threatening. And most of our current tests are invasive, many requiring a small blood sample. A diabetes service dog isn't a replacement for checking blood sugar levels. However, it is a safeguard for those who experience episodes of low or high blood sugar, especially if they do not have warning symptoms. Furthermore, the diabetic assistance dog can provide emotional security and a sense of balance for individuals and for those who have loved ones with diabetes. He can help you lead a more confident, active, and independent lifestyle. And as with all service dogs, a diabetic service dog can be taught a variety of tasks to assist with the needs of his handler. These tasks can include alerting other family members if an owner needs assistance, bringing needed objects such as medications, retrieving a cell phone for assistance, and even in some instances dial 911 using a special device if assistance is needed. So what breeds are we turning to? While this is certainly not an all-inclusive list, here are the top 5 candidates for diabetic service dogs. Number 1 Retriever. Have you ever wondered why the Labrador Retriever is always used as a service dog? A Labrador Retriever is a highly versatile breed, which is considered one of the best canine breeds for training. He is hardworking with an extraordinary intelligence that makes him a good candidate for training to become a proficient service dog. A Lab is also known for his friendliness and sociability. His sunny disposition makes him an excellent family dog as well as a service dog. 
This furry companion is not only good natured, but he works so hard for his owner that you can't help but love him for the loyalty that he shows. The lab is extremely obedient. He listens and he does his best to do a good job at any task that he is given. With all his special talents and loving nature, it is no wonder why the Labrador Retriever has been considered the number one dog in America and abroad. A lab's desirable traits enable him to shower affection and comfort to the people that need him most. Number two, Golden Retriever. Like the Labrador, the Golden Retriever is a highly intelligent, devoted, obedient, eager to please dog. In fact, the first three dogs to win the American Kennel Club's Obedience Championship title after it was introduced in 1977 were all Golden Retrievers. He is physically active and enthusiastic but not hyper. Affection and friendliness are given freely and appreciated in return. And the Golden Retriever is tolerant of and even warm towards kids and pets, often bonding strongly with the entire household. Much like the Labrador, he has become synonymous with service dog work for his strong work ethic and friendly nature. Because of each breed's traits that make them both great service dogs, a mix called a Goldador has also become quite standard in service dog work. Number three, Standard Poodle. The Poodle may have the physique of a fashion model, but this breed was born to hunt. He's the brightest of the brightest. He is among the most intelligent and most obedient dogs to be found. This, combined with his curiosity and eagerness to please, makes him easy to train and dependable. The Poodle appreciates mental challenges and lots of physical activity, both of which often come with assistance work. He's also adaptable to different environments, allowing him to stay focused and alert at home and in all sorts of public situations. The Poodle is friendly, but not overly enthusiastic or stimulated around unknown people or animals remaining well-behaved and attentive to his responsibilities outside the home. Number 4. Labrador Take the qualities of the lab that make him a great service dog. Combine that with the intelligence and low shedding coat of the poodle and you get a Labradoodle, a great service dog that can be allergy and asthma friendly. He's an intelligent and friendly hybrid breed that was originally bred in Australia as a guide dog for the blind. Since, he has moved on to be a big player in the service dog world, as well as a popular family pet. Number 5. Australia Shepherd. Intelligent, hardworking, and versatile, the Aussie is a no-nonsense dog who thrives in a home where his brains and energy are put to good use. As a herding dog, he has an intelligence to not only just obey a command, but to figure out problems on his own but he also needs constant mental and physical exercise. While he might not be the best breed for everyone, for the active diabetic, he certainly has the energy to help maintain an active lifestyle, which can offset more advanced cases of diabetes. This episode was made possible by our friends over at Audible. Right now, I'm reading A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. There's a link in the description where you can get two free audiobooks and choose from thousands. It's convenient to sit and listen while at work, in the car, or while relaxing at the beach. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Well, that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.